So just wanted to make a quick MLB news video for you guys talking about the Chicago Cubs and Japanese pitcher Shota Imanaga this 2023-24 MLB offseason. So here on the screen is an Instagram post from 358 Baseball which is captioned, The Chicago Cubs are reportedly interested in Japanese left-handed pitcher Shota Imanaga and they would like to acquire a starting pitcher this winter and are exploring, op or, and are exploring their options via trade and free agency per Jesse at Rogers. So it seems like to me that the Chicago Cubs are definitely in on a lot of players this offseason uh, with the Cubs making a big time splash getting Craig Council from Milwaukee as the team's new manager on a record-breaking contract. All signs point towards them and their ownership group not being done whatsoever and spending top dollar this offseason. So We've seen the Cubs interested in possibly landing Shohei Otani, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, Blake Snell as well. Uh, they've been involved in trade conversations with both uh, Juan Soto uh, as well as Pete Alonso. So this team could be looking very dangerous and very fun in 2024 come opening day if they're able to land multiple of these guys. But I guess the only time will tell uh, with this latest report of talking about Shota Imanaga, which I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really know much about. Um, he is a player that is from Japan. He is 30 years old. So a little bit on the older side of things compared to a player who's a little bit younger, like Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Uh, the last couple of years, it looks like that he has played for Yoki Kamo, uh, Yoki Ahama, my apologies, um, in the uh, JPCL. So uh, he could definitely be a nice option to come over to North America. Perhaps he plays more of a bullpen role. I guess only time will tell. Um, as this report indicates by Jesse Rogers, the Cubs want to add some pitching to their team. They want to add a starting pitcher in particular. And if they're able to acquire uh, Shota Imanaga from Japan, who's probably not going to cost you a ton of money financially, and you're still with use that excess cap space on a big time move like Yoshinobu Yamamoto or Shohei Otani or even explore the trade market uh, with a Juan Soto um, and or Pete Alonso trade. This team could definitely win the division next year. It's pretty wide open in my personal opinion with the Brewers getting worse this year. I would imagine with them trading away some of their key players. Uh, the Cardinals, of course, a bit of a disappointing year last year. So I think if you are the Cubs uh, next year in the division, it's relatively wide open if you ask me. So I'll keep an eye on the Cubs making a international signing with Shota Imanaga from Japan. Is it going to happen? I guess only time will tell. Leave your thoughts down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.